right, guys. Um, so we're, we're gonna tell you the basically how we uh, we got started doing what we do. If you guys don't know what we do, um, it's uh, it's right on our site. It's, Thunder, what's up? What's up, Thunder? Um, so this is us. If you go to jxkdesigns.com, it's gonna take you here. We do live. Uh, we do original fight cigar, right? My man uh, is in charge of. This is our head illustrator, right? I am head graphic designer mm -hmm. <laughs> of Jake's K Designs. <laughs> um, so we work together and just kind of build these awesome visuals for you guys. And it's been fucking a lot of work, number one, but a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot yeah. of fun. Right? It's been so, nonstop. Yeah. Which is crazy. So we were like thinking about how the hell we're gonna kick this off, and mm -hmm. um, I guess you know it's. Oh, wait, how did we we met we met playing we met playing we met Street Fighter Four, <laughs> uh, fucking on Steam on Steam, exactly right. And I think we, we were on the, we're definitely on we had mics on we had mics on. I don't know if I, I entered your room or you guys came you came into my room or you knew somebody before me. I don't, I don't know what happened there. No, I think I think it was just random. It was just random. I think lobby. we just ended up in an endless lobby. Yeah. Right. And this guy is the king of fucking <laughs> shit talking on on the mic. Like all I did was talk shit and just bug out on character moves, and it was the most funniest shit ever. And these yeah. guys loved it. And he he had uh he, he played he played <laughs> he played Dudley. I boy at the time. Wait, yeah, I did play Dudley. Yeah, you're playing. Yeah, I was playing Dudley. He was playing Dudley, just fucking washing everybody. Not, not true, but not you guys, because I talk shit because I couldn't beat you guys. Oh. So that's my only. That was the, my only comeback was to talk shit about your characters. Mark, but he said he talked shit first thing in the morning. <laughs> Kuda was one of the first ones. I was like, what is this character? What is it? He keeps saying, yeah, yeah. Get this character out my on my ear. So, an eight so, on. so anyway, I'm in a, in a fucking battle lounge and like, I don't know if I was losing, I was winning. This guy's fucking talking mad shit, <laughs> right? And I was like, this guy's hilarious. <laughs> but he, here's the thing. I think I said it, I now I remember. I was like, yo, where are you from? Because you have a similar accent. Oh, that's that Jersey shit. Uh, right? Yeah. I was like, yo, you sound like you're from New York or around my way. So I think I think we said I think um, probably message no we probably did it live yeah we did it on the headset I was like yeah. yo like where are you from and he, this guy's like literally like five miles from me exactly right? he was like, yeah and I was like holy shit Ch Chun Li versus Geef uh, you guys want to see that oh, okay we'll, we'll do it later we'll you guys want to see me lose like that um but yeah that's that's how we we met and then all of a sudden uh, just because we're so close I think we exchanged numbers yeah. social media and then throughout like th throughout the whole year yeah, that's 2015 two. yeah yeah throughout the couple of years we've just been trying to like link, link up, up for right, something right. and it just happened how did it happen right you just randomly hit me up was like well i mean we're because we i think we were interested in the same thing like you were doing the art yeah i was doing the art i, I was doing my doing, personal stuff you were doing the street was, fighter stuff yeah, i was doing sticks, and, uh, sticks. Uh, and doing graphics for the sticks and mm -hmm. i think that's what kind of drew you in mm -hmm. and then uh you know obviously me i'm a sucker for anything fucking beautiful and uh. amazing art so that's how that went but then um i think the, the reason why this is on the screen guys so you guys are seeing um yeah. Sagat. Yeah, so we uh well, actually we met at ECT ECT twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen. Yeah, twenty sixteen. Literally we met everybody that we I talk shit to. <laughs> yeah. Thank God they ain't punched me in the face. But I met everyone there. It was an awesome fucking event, bro. Yeah, like in person. Yeah. Right. Everyone in person. Was Devious there? Still Devious was there. Devious came through. Still Devious was, was there. the first time I seen him there yep. too. What's up, man? DC Migs. What's up, man? Um, but yeah, so that so we met in person at ECT 2016, and that whole year up until the next ECT, we we're chopping it up online. Yeah. And then I think we were getting close to the event. And I was like, "Yo, you want to do a table, right?" Yeah. yeah. And then um, I think yeah, I think we just like ended up wanting we to ended up splitting tables. the table. We split right? we split our first collabor collaboration table. Mm -hmm. and actually, we didn't really collab. Like this was the piece that binded us together. This like, yeah, this piece. was the official one, right? Yeah, but it was all it was like yo, you want to just split a table so we don't have to both spend like the money for the table yeah, yeah, for yeah. ECT. But then, then you know when we were uh, gearing up for it, we we're like you know what, let's actually do a project. And um, you know what, Street Fight. Oh, wait, why did we do Sagat? It was because season. No, because I think it was because uh, it was L.I. Joe's in charge of us part. 
PCT. Oh, right, right, right. Then we all know that L.I. Joe loves Sagat, and we all love Sagat. Right. And I think it was rumored that he was going to come out. Oh, uh, yeah. It wasn't official. Yeah, because the trailer didn't drop till like a year. That's right. A year or two yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but we decided to do it, and... Yeah, that was it. This right? was our first mashup. Like we were getting our flow started. Right. You were so, killing it with the graphics. He, he was uh, this. He literally just started um, working. Di like really. Yeah, digital. I went full digital around this time as well. Right. I had an art studio. All that. I let that go. All that stuff. Yes, yeah, free giveaways. Yup. Yo, what up, Polly? So, Lord, what's up, man? Uh, Mick, yo, Mick, yo, Mix has got a nice ass Laura. Shout out to Mix. He watched me. And he, he doesn't press buttons. He's smart. Shout out to Migs. Yep, he's he, he been winning the Helix tournaments, man. Yo, he's yeah. smart. He's, he's not smashing buttons. He knows what he's doing. Yep. So, so. so, this is how this went down. So, uh, you you just kicked over Sagat, right? And mm -hmm. we kind of found our way to work together mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. through this piece. That's why it's kind of like, really, it signifies a lot. So, mm -hmm. uh, Clev took some time. He drew the Sagat. And this is like the first versions of him really working digitally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you'll see our progression. Um, yeah, you're going to see the progression. Ugh. Yeah. You know? Ugh. Right, so this was a Sagat piece. Um, and also, I didn't really understand how Clev wanted to work. Uh, so when I first did this piece, right, I think I just, I like photoshopped a random Sagat piece. And yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like, it was, it was somebody else's art. It was someone else's Sagat. art. And he was like, chill. You know, like, we're gonna, if we're gonna do this, it's gonna be our own art. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I went and got this, uh, you know, I, I went and did this tiger pattern that you're seeing in the back here. So sick. Yeah, I did the graphics. So, you know, I, you know, these are silhouettes of, of Sagat's moves over here, but, you know, in, in, and this is how this first piece came together. And then um, at the event, we got the god Li Joe. Yeah, he saw that. He literally stopped. Was like, "Yo, that's sick." You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So this was basically, you know, what what kicked off. Uh, and then we decided, like, hey, we well, should kind of do this as like a maybe a little, little project, a little business mm -hmm. that we have going on because it's it's number one, it's fun, and then yeah, yeah. just kind of kept it going. So who was at that ECT? Anybody was there? I think Migs, were you there? I think you were there, man. But this was in, this was the first time they did it in Fairfield, I believe. Right? Yeah, that was the first time. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's the first piece, right? And then, and then this would be like the shit that broke the internet, literally. When yeah, we this posted the first this, one, right. I think it was on Reddit, it just took off like crazy. This was thick as was for Antlo. What's his name? What he go by now? Zano. Zano, aka JKX Zano. JXK Zano, yeah. The god. Yeah. You know? And um Yeah, big and Migs was there. Yeah. So this one, uh if you guys uh know our boy Anthony, aka Zano, uh, he just went the final round by the way, shout out to him. Uh, he did okay, did like one and two, lost to like Oil King, something mm -hmm. crazy. But anyway, he's a Nash main and uh, we did his stick. Uh, first one, first custom. He loves like the brighter colors, like yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, he he rocks pink Nash, right? Yeah, it's definitely in Stanford this year, right? Definitely. Um, but you, so this one was unique because you went and and you wanted to do. He wanted it to look like um, more of the in-game artwork, right? So this is why you see this is me venturing into like more flat, flat Ooh. color based and like more like Udon stuff and in-game artwork, real clean. This is what he wanted. So that yeah. was my attempt at it. If, if you look at the background too, the, the um, what's up? UBMNYC, what's up, man? My boy on Twitch asked, what's up? What's up, what's up? Yep, uh, so we got uh, also like a silhouette of Nash in the background. You know, I went in, I put all like Nash's moves. So there's you know, like the some of this I forget that we had the silhouette in the background. That's so sick. Yeah. So, you know, I put like an anti shadow. I don't remember half of this shit. This is one of the quotes in the game. That's mm -hmm. that, that became kind of like our template. We'd find like a dope quote. Dope quote, yeah. Dope quote. Um, add some of the elements in there. And then um, I think this and is how it came out. It really came out. God damn, it's so clean, bro. Right? So clean. This is how so it came I, out. Freaking, I don't know if you guys know Iron Pinky, but he's a Udon artist, man. When I when I posted it, he commented, it was like dope. Like, shoo. Yeah, so Ant, Ant Low, uh, he can be found still rocking the stick, even though he has one of the newer B&B sticks, but um, like he's, people like always stop him and like, yo, like that shit is crazy. This is the colors, everything's just yeah. perfect. Man. So this so, is a Q4. The buttons turned out well. Uh, we'll be at the, I'm uh, pretty sure we'll be at Defend the North, but we're not going to get a booth. Yeah, I think, we're going to I think that's going to be our, our I want to enjoy myself, man. It's going to be my house. Yeah, just kick it with y'all, man. Just have fun. All right, and then uh, here he is, Happy Camper. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, shout out to Ant, bro. The Vanguard. I mean, yeah. Our adventure. Yeah. Bro, and then, uh, yeah, this one came out great. So that was like our first, like, as a as a team, JK, team. this was the first one. And then, right. who came up next? Let's see. I think we just go in order, man. And then we, we made our this is uh this is actually really cool. A lot of people don't know what this is. They think it's like some jet uh, jet grind radio. <laughs> it was inspired by jet grind radio. Right. This was um this was clever arts. Uh, What's up, still was good, brother. Yeah, still's in here. Oh, what up, man? Um, uh, I made this. I had this character like years ago, and she's basically like a ro rollerblading, rollerblading, Dudley inspired character, graffiti and just craziness. Right. Well, don't we have? Uh, not anymore, not anymore. Anymore, you change it? Yeah. Um, but that was just something we did out of Oh, here it is, here it is. Oh, there it is, right there, then. Right, so this is how it oh, came out. Oh, I forgot out. the ball on top. Right, right. It looks, that looks like, uh, uh, it looks like, but dope as shit. It looks like Jack Ryan? Okay, okay. Yeah, arms too, the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you look at the background, that's actually, I did that graph piece. Um, that ball top, right? <laughs> yeah, the, the, the ball top, right? I, like, I even purposely fucked it up a little bit, so it's like a little, yeah. it's a little grimy. You know, so it matches this portion right here. I did the graph piece in the background. This was like my first attempt at the bread and butter stick before I made it all acrylic. But it was just, you know, uh, something that we, we did as a show, a show piece, mm. right? And yo, you're supposed to make a comic out of these people. This is not enough time, bro. Yeah. Not enough time in the day. So uh, e E's plan was to make a full comic. I was trying. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. like start off with this character as the main. I mean, there's still time, but it's just you know commissions and stuff. Yeah. Chamber, what's, what's up, up, man? What's up, Chambers? Giveaways, what? What are we doing giveaways at? Nine? Uh, Nine? Four? Nine-ish? Yeah, a little, a little bit. Let's see. Um, 8.30? Eh. Uh, well, let's probably do a nine. Yeah, like nine we're going to do the giveaways. But we'll start with one we'll of the giveaways. We'll start with one and then we'll keep going. Um, yeah, well, that's it, man. I mean, I, I had plans to do a comic book. I mean, there's still a chance we could get that done. Yeah, that's my dumb ass with it. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Chamber? Um, what we got here? All right, and then uh, um, Lentley's uh, Dragon Ball, right? But the first person who ordered from us wasn't it Butters? The what first official one is the Akuma. the Akuma. Butters is the first official one that we got an order from somebody outside right. who went in and ordered. This one is the first official order from someone like outside. You may have known him, right? Yeah, no, but, yeah. Uh, John Butterall, guys, Buttercade. He Buttercade, the, yeah. the, the god. The god. The god. The god. The mod god, yeah. Oh, yo, Chambers, thanks so much for the sub, man. I appreciate thanks it. Thanks so much for the sub. Yes, yes. Righteous uh, Regicide, what's up? Thank you Thank for you. joining. Yeah. Um, yeah, Butter mm -hmm. this is Butterall's first project. This was the AFS um, case, and he wanted a Shin Akuma. Um, so he, he came through and made, he did basically all the character work. And I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this f little fucking Buddha here. <laughs> and then, then like the, the, the Akuma sliding into it. Yeah. Yeah, we did, all, we, did, we did all the all work. This is part of the business we got, JKX Designs. Yeah. So we pretty much gather everything from scratch. What's up, God? How you doing, brother? Yeah, Ghetto we do all the art from scratch. Ghetto Bond's in the house. That's our people right there. Um, and then how do we, so we wanted this to look very like Shinakuma like, so yeah, yeah. I, we took the Akuma stage, kind of like Kumasuke, freaked it, freaked it a little freaked bit, freaked it, and I did, I did the logo work right here, the logo, oh, with, the with absolute the, uh, power, I did the, uh, I did the, um, the Buddha with the, uh, yeah, with the Akuma, the, the Akuma sign on the forehead, I don't know, I just had a vision of that one day, I'm like, yo, that would be sick, bro, right. and I just did that, and I was going for a more demonic, obviously demonic Tifi Akuma, and I like it, bro. I like it right now. I still like it. It's because yeah. the colors. Is just I mean, we've got we've got feedback that like, oh, he looks like too crazy. But I'm like, yeah. but that, you know, honestly, the difference is like, it looks better than Capcom's. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I pre we appreciate that. But, like, we, we wanted that. to make it, you know, what the customer wanted. You know, like, yeah. so Buttero was like, look, I wanted to look fucking like crazy. Ah, yeah, it's, it just all oh, that shit all came well. Right. And then this oh, is how that. it came out. Like, yeah. I still have this stick as my Facebook cover because it's so godlike. When I saw this, I knew we had something. Yeah. Like, I, when I saw this done and saw what uh, Butter Rose did, I'm like, yo, we, we got something here. This is a market we're fulfilling. Like, yep. nobody's doing this type of attention to their fight sticks, like the layouts. Right. And, and these glow um, purple and blue. Uh, actually, I don't even know. Yeah, they definitely glow like the colors of the theme of the stick. Mm -hmm. These are Paradise Arcade Shops uh, OBS MX LEDs. They're fucking sick. Oh man, I think there's more picks. Look, look at the wiring. Yeah, God damn. So this is what Buttero does. That's what he does. Yeah. 
This is the wiring. Look at that. Clean. Godlike, right? It's like a PC in there. <laughs> a computer. Right. So this, yeah, this was literally, this probably was the first. Yeah, you're right. That, it was the first. Commercial. I think that was the first order. Then, right. we, then, then after that, we started, people started coming. It was like yep. shocking. Like we couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. D this is when DBZ just dropped. Right. We did this for our boy. Uh, well, on Instagram, he's Lenty. Yeah, Lenty. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Chromie. Yeah. Chromie, Chromie, yeah, Chromie, Chromie, yeah. Chromie. Um, he wanted uh, Android, I believe, 21. 21. Android 21. And I decided to do two Androids because why not? She's awesome. Yep. I did, I did all the cupcakes and shit yeah, in the background. That, the background was sick. When you laid that there, I was like, oh, my God. Right. Oh, my God. What do we have? Do we have someone in the background here? I forgot. That's when actually here is when you start evolving the buttons. Oh, okay. Your buttons start evolving. Oh, yeah, yeah. To so the point where people actually want that to show. Right, the like button the style. Button's graphics started evolving from there, which is yeah, so I, sick. I kind of wanted to make this like um like a like a rib. I don't know how to say it, but like kind of like a bakery. Yeah, yeah, you know, I know what you mean. Like, yeah, you know, like the red and polka dots. That's mm -hmm. why I, I I went with this theme. Hey, Jay Milton, what's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for joining the stream, brother. Dirty, what's good? Yep, Dirty's in here. What's good, guys? I gotta get some money scraped together and have artwork made. Okay, we're ready, Chamber. Yeah, we're ready, man. Just let us know. Let us know. What's up, guys? Hope you guys are doing well. Yep. Uh, here's a close-up. Oh, yeah, this is me. Going on. And there, you know, I'm from a, I'm from a traditional base. So this is me, like, transferring to digital fully and understanding what, what people like, what, what my, what my style was going to become. Like, I, people, I learned over time that people, people don't mind changing, the changing of the character style and art style, but you have to stay in a familiar type of way. They have to look familiar. Mm -hmm. But you could change them. You can add things. But if they just look like a Kuma from a far away, yeah, it's okay. You just can't do, you can't really do too much changing. And from here, I started learning. Like you know, I started learning that like I can do my own style just a little bit, but I have to keep it familiar. Like yeah. So then this is me like starting off clean, trying to learn how to paint clean. Cause being from a traditional background, I'm a charcoal based artist. I'm messy. I'm sloppy. Like the the mistakes is what I like to leave. But that's not necessarily what people want. They like clean stuff. And that's when I started to transfer over to clean. Yep. But here, coming up, is actually... I needed to go painter style. Because I just needed to, man. It's just... Right. Um, so this is kind of... I, I think this really helped us put us on the map. Definitely. Uh, so this... First of all, uh, this is Lohi, a.k.a. Yo, Nendo, what's up, man? We got we got the president nice of uh, so let's salute the president, everybody. Retro Arcade Stick Collective president Nando, in the house. Thank salute. you, Nendo. What up? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, righteous. I, I'll tell him. I tell him after this. Um, righteous got a, got a request. He's trying to. Oh, uh, okay. All right. It's gonna be dope. Let's let's explain this one first because this is a very important layout. So this is actually kind of funny, guys. So um, first of all, shout out to our boy uh, YKD. Actually, no, he goes by JMFRTK now. JMFR, yeah, yeah. Our, our boy Jimmy, mm -hmm. right? Uh, James, uh, over in Canada, he put together a stick for. He was he wanted to gift a stick in collaboration with Arcade Stick Indonesia, who makes the Golden Lever. If you guys don't know anything about like the you know Korean arcade stick scene, um, you know it was collaboration between him. So it was the first Golden Lever, mm -hmm. uh, first on esports who sponsored Loha. I don't know if they still sponsor us. Paradise Arcade Shop um, donated some parts. And um, God like team. <laughs> right, so we made this full blast stick for um for, 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 for Lohai. Lohai. Right? And this is his main, uh Shaheen, right? Um and yeah, how did how did you go about making this one? Um with this one I just you know Tekken Tekken's graphics are already like high def. Like you don't right, really right, right. need to do you just look at a picture, you look it up and you pretty much got it. Right. And I just this is the first piece where I'm starting to like understand my button layout even though it's still on the left i'm still like i'm not caring about the buttons much because i'm making things bigger like it's just me evolving over time learning how to create and a lot of these layouts are small this one was a small one small one this yeah. was a small one but um i figured i wanted to go painterly style on this one so i could get a lot of the like sand effects and stuff that i was going with i don't know oh yeah you see all the little particles yeah i here. wanted to get all the sand effects going right. i really i really wanted to kill this one because I knew Lohai was going to be showing this off. Right. And my greatest skill to me is still painterly style, no matter what. Yeah. And so I stood there, stood in my style for that one. We actually have a picture of, of uh, with Lohai with, with the Evo trophy. 
I mean, I wish we posted there. I think, I, think, I think we did post it somewhere. We might have posted it on our own yeah. accounts. Um, yeah. And then he actually went ahead and made a, a Panthera for him too. Mm. So this got translated to two sticks. Funny, so I got a couple funny stories on this one. First of all, um, I don't know where I got the Arabic from. I don't even know what this says. I oh forgot God. what it says. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what this Arabic double, says anymore. Double hala. Right? With but when I first laid it out, I think sauce. I got it I got it from some random fucking like Tekken site. Oh, and God. then some some dude from Fursan no way. was like, yo, that's completely fucking wrong. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> what does it say? I forgot. Oh, I don't even want to know what it says. If now. anyone speaks that's Arabic hilarious. if anyone speaks this could be the wrong one, by the way. But we had to correct it before we sent it out. Okay, okay. Thank God somebody yeah. called So that. anyway, if you guys understand Arabic, if you can read this, um, let us know if it's right, if it makes uh, sense. Three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Four dollars for us. That's fucked up, man. Chill, Chambers. <laughs> That's messed Chill. up. Chill. Yeah, dirty. We gonna get to that bolo. That's one of my favorites. Yep, yep. All right. And then um, I went. In, so I did this graphic style. Uh, this, you know, this piece here. I did some of the background work. That's like some of his stuff that's on his, uh, on his, um, on his outfit. I did this. This is a hand style. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I just got direction to kind of make it like kind of poppy. So I, this is like my, my my regular hand style with graffiti. You know, with the heart. That's how he writes his name. Um, the tech, I wanted to still like kind of look like Tekken, that's why I went with the red. You know how like um, mm -hmm. the Kazuya is like, yeah. right? So we went with red in the city. I didn't even notice that you put him in the yeah, heart. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of, he's in that's there. That's sick. And then like, uh, it's hard to see on here, but these little red dots are like low is for its arrow down and then mm -hmm. high is arrow up. You see that in there. And at, but, the at the time he's rocking, he's not playing this character no more, I don't think. No, I don't think so. He's playing another character, last time I seen him. Yeah. The, the funny thing is like the whole time we were cracking up, right? And fucking... We're like, yo, is this Rashid? <laughs> Cause like, you know, we no, don't, we didn't, did we? Yeah, did we put the Rashid? Yeah, little Rashid in there. So, oh like, my god! Sure. Yeah. So <laughs> there's a little hidden. Whatever you do, don't tell Lo High what what we did. So there's a little uh, just just because we were cracking up so hard, we were calling him, we were calling him like Shahid, Shahid, Rashid, Rashid. Yeah. And uh, while we were doing this, we fucking hid. Well, let me see if I can find it. Let's Let's yeah, see. it's probably behind the wait, 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 wait. I see him, I see him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, we're zooming in, we're zooming in. Hold on. Where, where is this guy? Huh? Wait, wait. Where, uh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> yeah, we put my he put my shit. <laughs> and meanwhile he's traveling. He's traveling to Tekken tournaments, winning Tekken tournaments, and Rashid is, Rashid is chilling like Rashi. <laughs> so like yeah, dead ass the Tekken. Look, he goes, he goes laughing. <laughs> so yeah, so Rashi. Don't tell him, y'all. <laughs> don't tell him. Don't tell him. That stick gotta be somewhere in his house still. Don't tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Woo! Yeah, he's doing a mini mixer in there. You got it. Oh man. Oh my god. So yeah, this one this one uh definitely like raised a little <laughs> bit of a profile, right? And then um Um we got the Chong. Right. This is still one of my favorites in terms of color and her face. And again, this is me trying to find my style of I love the lighting. Of the flat layout well the flat layouts, clean work versus paintery. Yo, he said he wants a refund. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> uh, <coughs> zoom into uh, Chung's little body there. I don't know if we can do that. Uh, oh, that's right, that's yeah. right. We're on Instagram. Um, here? Have you noticed, like, I'm, I'm blending colors in her in her uh, kimono and stuff like that, and I'm just, like, trying to find my style still. And I love this piece. It's simple. And then John comes to... John finds his style with the buttons, again, with the... Uh, Porcelain, but the porcelain, the graphics inside, yeah. like joke, in that border work. It's just like you need those clear buttons for things like that. Yeah, because he's literally designing the buttons for you. Um, it's so crazy. I remember we got some. Oh, I like the background came out really dope too with the yeah. lanterns. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like the cherry tree, the cherry blossoms. Yeah, I remember we got. And look, I don't know if you guys noticed this. That little um, uh, what's he? Uh, hummingbirds. Humming, humming hummingbirds trying to eat the dumplings. Yeah, yeah. So this was supposed to be like a more like. I I play, I well, he requested what? a more playful. He requested yeah. her eating dumplings. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we wanted to. It's like, look, it's Chun's day off. You yeah. know, like this is this is when she's like chilling in her fucking courtyard, eating dumplings, right? Yeah. A lot of people gave us feedback about like she looks like uh, what's her name from Game of Thrones? 
Um, you know what I'm talking about? The, the queen. Um, you guys. Khaleesi, Khaleesi. Yeah, Khaleesi. Khaleesi. Right? And, you know, I was like, well, she's like blowing the dumpling. But anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So this will. Oh, God. Damn. So this is how it came out. Um, I actually made the stick for. Um, for the client, right? We actually, uh, this is one of my cases. This was one of my um, older, I used to call these a tournament style cases. I don't make these anymore, I'm sorry guys. I don't really have a lot of time for woodworking anymore, but yeah, this is one of my cases. So that's how it came out. And he went and you know did the thing with the buttons and everything and it came out super dope, right? Uh, I don't think we have a one final picture of that. Yeah, this yeah, is definitely one of my, one of my favorites. favorites. Um, All right, uh, then this another is, one, Chromie came through yeah, again. Chromie, right? What uh, Android 21, and I this time I tried my painterly style on it. Why did he want this the other direction though? Yep. He just wanted it like that to have it long that way, like a waifu pillow in like one of them pillows. And so this guy <laughs> sleeps. This guy sleeps with this. No, no, no. But it, actually, I, I was like, yo, that'd be being at his the fight stick. I mean, the hitbox was large. Oh, okay. I figured, yo, look at all that space. Let's just like have her laid out or standing there. Yeah. And that's what we did real quick. Right. We'll hit that one up. I don't know if he sent us finished works with that one. I think I, sure I think we seen did. it. I think we seen it live too. Yeah, this one we actually sold as a piece, um, on a printout at oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. We had prints of that. Nando with the muscles. Nando, what's up? PTV cubicle. What up? Thanks for, Thank the, follow. for the follow. Remember, Appreciate guys, it. you got to be following to win the giveaways. Yeah, we got like 15 minutes. And we're, 15 we're, minutes. We'll do yeah. the first one. Yeah. And we'll probably do the stickers first. What do you want to do first? Let's do one sticker, then the next one will be the pack, and then we'll do two more stickers. Okay. So it'll be three sets going out, so what, four winners? Five winners total. Okay. Five winners total. All right, guys. Hey, Juke, what up, man? What's up, Juke? What's good? All right. What else we got? Let's see. Um, Scroll up. Uh, we did this. We did this. We got a scroll. We're onto a scroll. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, God. Where is he? He's not even in the chat. Where is he? Yeah, I don't know, man. Where the hell is this guy? Yo, Dirty, thank you so much for the sub, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you for it. the sub, dude. Appreciate it. Yo, so this one was for my man Jason. Uh, he used to go by Street Fighter Adventures, but uh, you know him better as Taser Shock. Oh man, do we have to? But we do have to finish. Oh, wait till they see that shit. I think it's. I think it's here. Yeah, it's in there. Don't show it yet. Yeah. So he wanted what four? He wanted. A, he wanted the four the kings. Original four kings. The original four kings. Fuck Fang. Fang is. <laughs> You pick Fang, you have no culture. No, sir, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> anyway, he wanted the original Four Kings. I went straight up. I needed to paint this. I needed to paint it in my style because these are some godlike characters of all time. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Right. So I went in. I, I knew immediately I wanted Bison on the right with his cape flowing. And then Borog and Sagat would be their big heads. And then, like, he's a Vega main. Unfortunately, Vega's not, not in the game still. <laughs> Hopefully with the patch, Capcom, <clears throat> let's put Vega back in the game. And uh, I went with the Vega here. I gave him a little, little too much of a uh, female, feminine. feminine face, but it was too late for me to go back. I already played like countless hours into it. I still think it looks dope, but I know I nailed that fucking Sagat. I just want to point that out. That's I, like, I like the ball run. I, I know that's Sagat. Yeah. And then John come through. Yeah, border, with the graphics. Yeah, border work. Right. And I didn't really do much. He took up all the whole screen. I, I'm just, sorry, I had to, I, man. I just it did was... this uh, reign of the, you know, the, the theme was reign of the four kings, the uh, original four kings, just really like tribal Lino, border work. Lino, there he is. Yo, Lino is here. What time is it in the Yo, What UK? time is it? One o'clock? <laughs> Chamber said, Buff Fang 2019. No, we don't yeah. need more Fang. Right. And, and then, the oh, yes. Yeah, so, you want to talk about it? Yeah, so this is the side panels because this was going on the Mad Cats Versus, and you can actually like put artwork in the whole stick. So we went ahead and put his gamer tag, put its, you know, the recurring theme. So this is this is on there. Um, that shit came out dynamite. I think we have a picture of it later, too. Right? Um, how do I plan around the buttons? Um, around that time, <clears throat> around that time, I really, I really was just go bigger than the buttons. And my mindset is go bigger than the buttons, but that takes away from John's great work. So it's, it's kind of like a balance, balance from there. Right. But I know in my mind that if I go over the buttons, it really won't block anything. And your mind your mind will finish the artwork. Right. Like if you see a hand going across and the buttons block the arm, you know that it's still going to be an arm there, like subconsciously. But John, go back to this, John was still getting wicked with the buttons. It didn't matter. Like 
even if the artwork was missing covered, John would get crazy with the buttons and we win anyway. Right. And here we put more work into like God, the, we gotta show yeah. him the artwork on this one. We have to show him the, 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 the Do we have this? We have it, we have it, because he sent us those pictures. We have to show him it. It's so godlike. Uh, Keep going, it should be coming up. We're, yeah. we're trying to find the original um We have to show you guys the finish the finish fight. Oh, oh wait, no, wait. no, keep going. Do we have it? I, hope we I have know it. we have it. There oh it here it is, right here it is, here it is. Jesus Christ, yo, wait till you see this guy. So Jace, Jason, right? He yeah, sent he sent us the pictures of after he's done installing everything, right? Putting the side things in, all the things. He sent us the pictures and my god. Yo, Jay Milton, thank you so much for the sub, man. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you for the sub. What was that, tier two, was it? Is it? We got a tip? Tier two, nice. Nice, thanks, guys. Thank Yo, we got you, the tier you. two. Nendo, thank you, bro. I appreciate thank it, fam. You. Holy crap, thank you so much. Um, But yeah, guys, look. Uh, This is, man, Taser Shock done did the thing. Yo, yeah. he's got one of the illest sticks we've ever made. This is, this is like a gem. Right. I wouldn't even leave that around. I wouldn't even take that to tournaments, man. Nah, That's man. a showcase. I That's would, a showpiece. Like. I would punch a motherfucker <laughs> and jack this guy's stick. Word. Right? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Yo, crazy, right? Anyways. All right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. That was that was a banger. Oh, Hairbone Warrior. Hairbone Warrior came through was like, I need a red chung. Right? Was it red? No, red he, no he didn't. He said he needed a chung. Chung, yeah. I decided to do a red chunk because of the cosplay uh, lady Chung Lee cosplay. Uh, yeah, yeah Chung Lee cosplay. That's her. Yeah. That's her. Um, Chung Lee cosplay. I saw her picture of a red chunk outfit. I'm like, that's gorgeous. I needed to copy that. Right. And I asked her for permission. Yeah, right here. And she gave me. She gave me the permission to do it. Right. And uh, if you don't know her, you should guys can follow her. She's dope. And she was at final round. I think she was at final round. Was she? Yeah. So this is so, her. Yeah. So her kimonos has these little floral things in it. Right here. Right, right here. Basically. That's what I'm like, yo, I need that. I need that on the piece. So I asked for permission. She said, go ahead. And uh, that's how it came out. I'm very happy with her face on this one, <laughs> this time around. Right. This but, is like a traditional chun. Yeah, yeah. Right. And um, we threw up the dragon up on there. John hit it again. John's evolving yeah, with the buttons. Alpha 2 style. Alpha 2 in the right. back, I right? Did, I did the Hairbone Warrior logo. Yeah. And it, it came out great. Yeah. He hit it with the gold buttons. I think we still, I think we have this one too. Uh, yeah, here it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's uh, that's it right there. Gold buttons are all the rage right there. It's because of Jason, man. This guy is fucking the four kings. Right. I even want the gold buttons after that, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, Del Toro, thank you. Appreciate Del that. Del Toro, thank you. Yo, oh, oh snap, is Hibachi Final in here? What's good, Hibachi? Hibachi Final, the god. Hibachi. Yo, that's, by the way, first of all, shout out to Hibachi Final. Um, he is, he's a, he's a, he's a reason why, you know, I kind of started doing this. Um, that's the homeboy right there. Probably the, one of the best so celebrated fight stick artists in history. <laughs> the <laughs> god. Yeah, that's the god. We need, so. we need the god, we need the god, like, yeah. emo yeah. or something. Someone yeah. like, yep. Yeah. Yeah, We're can, not worthy. Yeah, so shout out to Bachi Final. He, he's real. He's real low key. He doesn't yeah. like, but you know, I gotta give him his props. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, yeah, yeah. You deserve it, bro. You deserve it. Seriously, you're my you, guy. We're, we're doing a giveaway in a few minutes. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. First, first giveaway. giveaway. First so giveaway, hang in there, guys. guys. Yeah. Um, actually, he he did that, and actually, I think he went back and yeah, he sold me more. again, like again, and I got those other pictures. Okay, let's go to this one. Oh, Gundam. Gundam. This is all you. I didn't do much. All right. Oh, I so, did. Never mind. Yeah, you did. Um, what was his name? I forget his name. But he came, uh, David, right? For David Ace. David came and was like, yo, I need a Gundam. What was the uh, fire? Uh, Astro Red. Astro Red Gundam. I'm like, we're never going to get a Gundam request ever never, again. Ever. So I'm like, I literally like, holy shit, I need to kill this. And again, I'm evolving. I'm seeing past the buttons. I wanted him like cutting the missile in half. So I wanted like him slicing the missile in half. The front missile is blurry to indicate that it's coming towards you. And then the missile is like going to the background. I did some blue. He wanted some blue back there, a little brighter. Barcuda, thank you, man. And man, if we if I could only zoom into these, you would see all the scratch marks in the armor. But we can't zoom in and stuff like that. It's hella details I put in the sword. I fucking love this stick, bro. Yeah. It's, 
I don't think we've seen it finished though. I don't, I don't think we need to message yet. him. Like, did you do if it? If you guys are into Gundam, like a lot of it is like the decal work, the stickers. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. dude, it's a whole fucking scene that I, I yeah. was. I honestly, this stick made me privy to that scene. No, that scene is gone. Like, yeah. and it's been for years. Right, it's been like that for years. So bro. yeah, I, I try to recreate all these little decals. Um, in that I saw. Oh, shit, cool with the bits. Oh, is that yo, Liquid Evil, thank you so Let's much for the go. sub. I appreciate it. I appreciate it so much, man. Thank you so Liquid much Evil, for supporting. Thank you. Um, so this was E Inc. Yeah, me right? going in, right. me painting. This is hand painting, and I just needed the hand again. I needed a hand painting. I needed to get those effects. That's John with the yo. When he showed me this, I knew. When he showed me this, I knew it was gonna be godlike. Yeah. Like, so this, oh. is, this is us working on the graphics, man. So you see a little bit of the, what's going on in the background. Crazy, right? This, yeah, we never got, we never got the finish. We product. need to hit him off the sea. Right. And uh, this, this one, this one, no one has. No, no, no. We did that. Just to celebrate her release. Yeah, look, it says your gamer tag. Yeah, yeah. So that <laughs> one we just did. You know, I don't know. I did it real quick. You killed it with the graphics, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. A righteous, righteous wants okay. a Johnny Cage '90s theme fight stick. Oh, like fucking well, colorful. What the? Yes. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Shades. It's gonna happen. No, that's gonna be like the sickest thing. Off the side, we gotta have him doing a nutcracker. We are doing whatever, but the oh, whole yeah. '90s layout. We're gonna do all this, like all the graphics will be like '90s theme, right. like a '90s notebook. It's gonna be sick. Right, so th this uh, folk just came out. We we're like, fuck it, let's just do a folk. Yeah, I just did a folk real quick, just to represent her. And this then, is this is no one stick, and like no one, no <laughs> one picked her for like a year. Right? right. <laughs> do people I, play folk? Like you, you know? know, Twin Dragon Kai. Thank you for the follow. Twin Dragon was good. That's good, bro. Um. Yeah, shout out to my boy Philip S. Uh, mm -hmm. He's someone that I met at NLBC. Mm -hmm. He mains Falk. So if he ever gets a custom, I'm just gonna give it to him. Just give it to him, but, bro. God bless. Wait, wait. God bless Falk players. Yeah. <laughs> he's a pad player. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was a pad player in four. Yeah. LTG plays here. Oh wow. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, this one. My oh, he plays her LTG. Yeah, he uh, does play her. But oh, this one. Let's go. Let's go. Fucking dolls. We we have it right. Oh, I, I did. Okay, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. Okay, okay, okay. Well, these are the dolls. It was requested by what's his name? Um, it's right there. Um, Ken, uh, Kenneth requested actually I think two dolls or something like that. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna draw like most of them. And I went with uh, the new design for um. Damn, what's her name? What's her sister's name? Uh. Who? Um, oh, the Capri. The Capri. The, I went with the new design for the Capri because I thought it was dope. Like that that mask for the Capri is the best mask for the Capri, and she's not in the game. Um, I went with these girls, uh, Julie and June, I believe, right? Junie, Junie and June. Julie, Julie and June right. in the back, and then I forgot the the one with the katana. I forgot her name, but Whatever. I went yeah. I went with Cammy's low forward because it's got like yes, and it's like the best move in the game till this day. Yes, it's still the best move. Uh, you grabbed the bison, which was yeah. Dope. I recycled the bison from mm -hmm. uh, from Taser Shock because yeah. you know he's he, at this point he's their fucking overlord. Yeah, yeah. So you know he had to be in the shadow. Yeah, right? yeah. You know? So that was like a sick idea. Right. And I like this arc I so just, much. This is so dope. When I was redoing my uh, Quamba, right, I was like, I'm just gonna use this art. Uh, the the logo differs a little bit, but I actually recycled this art and I changed the background a little bit for mine. Um, it has a little bit of like the um, some of the stage elements in the game, but I fucking I had to use this art for my obsidian. So, so sick. Yeah, man. but he, he um, the customer went ahead and did his own thing with it though. He made it look super dope too. Yeah, because he's also a graphic designer. Yeah, yeah, he was yeah. a graphic designer so. at uh, his original thing was graphic design. Yeah, but damn, I love this one. This was yeah. one of my favorites. Got the Meat Boy thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate All that. Right. Right. Uh, uh, oh, this is one of my favorites. Oh, you can talk this about this. This is one of my favorites. Right. We have to find the original. I have it. Yeah. If it's not on yours? I think I posted it. Oh, wait. Wait, wait no, it? that's the... Um, yeah, he we have to find it, bro, because I fucking love it. Do you have it? Yeah, I know I have it. Oh, no. All right, we'll, we'll try go on, to find go it. Go on, mines. I know I, I know I have it. All right, well, um, here, like, well, while we queue that up, go ahead. All right, so... All right, so we got a request for um, freaking uh, Bayonetta, 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 right? Yeah. But he, the the hitbox was so small, like I had literally no space but the bottom, and I didn't know what to do. And um, 
I figure, you know, let's get a waifu status here, get the curves in, right on the bottom, just like that, have one of her guns showing. Uh, <laughs> put the moon in the background. I forgot where I saw the moon, but I think the moon's integrated in her moves and her like t her designs. Yeah, I know it's in there. I know I have it. Um, besides that, I mean, since it's a small stick, and really, if John worked the designs on the buttons, it would take away all the image. So I took this one. I went ham with it. John took all the moon effects on the side, which is so sick. If you see, each corner has a moon. So clean. And uh, we shipped this off to him. And he actually put gold buttons again, because gold, <laughs> gold, gold, gold button was a thing, hey, I gold, guess. Gold is but the way it printed out, and just the way it looks, like it just came out. One of the ones I truly appreciated a lot. Um, we're, we're, we're looking for it. Keep going. Yeah, we're, we're trying to find now. it off screen, guys, and we'll, we'll try to bring it up on the screen as soon as we find yeah, it. Yeah, we're looking for it. Um, yeah, we've done so much stuff. Guys, yeah, we did a lot of fucking work. There's even there's stuff stickers. on. Guys, follow Clever Art on Instagram, too. It's uh, at, um, at Clever underscore art. Yeah, K, uh, Clever with a K underscore art. Yeah, man. Um, keep going fucking, quick, I know I posted it. There's no way I'm, in hell that I did not. I'm literally it. scrolling for like a half hour. <laughs> um, and I wonder if it's on my Facebook, actually. Yeah. If, uh, we're, we'll give it another like 30 seconds. If we don't see it, then we'll, we'll, we're moving yeah, on. Yeah, we're moving on. I'll, I'll try to find it. It's actually it's actually raffle time. So Oh, wait. Oh, there we found it is. It, we found it, we found yes. It. All right. So okay, after right. this is raffle time, but I just want you guys to see this. Like, there's the stick right there. So godlike. It's a it's a mini AFS um, hitbox, guys. So it's like it's mega small. So it really really didn't have much of a canvas for it. Hey, butter rolls. Butter the, house. the god. Oh, god. The god has arrived. The god has arrived. <laughs> Where he uh, he needs a mod god. He, he needs a mod god. Yo, yeah. follow butter roll. Follow butter roll's Instagram. Follow him on freaking. He has an Etsy store. Dude, this guy's awesome, man. This guy's awesome. That's a god, the mod god. We got two mod gods, and we got a lot of mod gods. Nendo's a mod god. Nendo gets a mod god, right? Got a lot of these guys. Lino, man. Actually, all these guys from uh, RA, RA, uh, SC. I, yeah. Fucking godlike. Anyway, all right. Um, uh, yeah, this one. The only thing I really did, um, you did a lot of the no, work. No, you did. You did the sign. You did that, and you did the signs. But I, you know, I had to take off most of the thing again because right. it's a small freaking hitbox. Right. I had but, to. I had to redraw this from scratch. So I did his. Um, his. Uh, Gamer tag, mm -hmm. um, as, as the same bayonetta style. So I had to recreate that and like draw it from scratch. So a lot of work, you know. These things are very minute in detail. But it in, takes so much time. Yeah, yeah I mean, and we do our research. Like we look into the characters. We see things that we can grab. Like it's not like we're just throwing shit up. So I'll break this one down quick for two for two minutes, right? This one we got a request for both Black Dynamite and Shona. Yeah, guys, uh, this is for the RASC stickers, by the way. This, yeah, the RASC stickers. Um, this one, I'm like, I had to go in. I look up some comic book art styles, especially for Black Dynamite. I looked up the uh, the cartoon style of Black Dynamite, and I grabbed some of those essential poses and things like that with the art style. And I just took that and then applied it to the Shona. And this stick actually came out really good. This stick was probably, the buttons that he picked was like absolutely cray. And John came in with the crazy decals. He went in with the decals. So much details there. Yeah, um, this is, uh, I mean, we just took elements from the movie, yeah. like the, the street scene, mm -hmm. quotes. Mm -hmm. the, he wanted us to be a double movie feature. Yeah, that's the way we did it, like a 70s style. And you see the belt, the tiger's eyes are like glowing. You know what um, I mean? This one was probably one of my favorite pieces that we did. Um, the quote... You know, just the quotes of Shona, who, who the master, right? <laughs> and then uh, he's super bad. He's out of sight. He's Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite. My favorite part of, about this stick was the nunchucks. Yeah, I hit them with the blur effect like it's moving. Damn, right? Yeah, this gentleman was from Japan, and he put it on a TE2, right? I think and it looks good. If we, and I don't know if we could find it. We have to uh, scroll up maybe because uh, it's definitely after this. Yep, it's definitely after this. So maybe he sent No, he sent, he sent us a pure disc. There it is. Right, so he see, he put on his TE. Man, I think it looks great. He chose the right colors to me. It just looks looks clean. It yeah, looks so clean. this was one of the more unique projects. Cause he wanted a movie, right? A kung fu movie. Um, you know, you don't like really this see. is one of those where we had to go in because we're probably never gonna get it again. Yeah. But we end up 
Really? Gambolo, Gambolo. Oh yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. right. This, this goes in All right, we're gonna keep it moving, guys. What do you guys think about this one? I bat top. I yeah, I, I like the bat top too. That did look dope, right? Uh, where are we at? Again, like I made it. A, uh, the point is out. Like the artwork, we do our best. But again, the build at the end of the day is what you guys do with it is what makes it real godlike. Like you, you put the right key components together, key buttons and stuff like that. Uh, the repeat. This is our first repeat. Then one of our no, second repeat. Second right? Chung. Yeah, this was. We got a lot of Chun Li's up. I use. Oh, we can out. Sorry. Oh, that's the um the Bluetooth probably on top of the. Uh, there oh you go. man. We can out, guys. Chun Li. There uh, you go. There goes your DLC content. All right. Um, I use like. With this piece, I wanted to go like old school. I used some scroll, ancient scroll artwork, right? Yeah, I actually combined like three elements. Yeah, we like yeah. we used a whole bunch of stuff in there. I went, I went again with my paintery style, and um, I put the cherry blossoms. We put the cherry in blossoms there. in there, and then the crowning was godlike. Right, that's the Chun Chun Li in uh, Kanji, right? Uh, Think, well, what's, what's Chun Li stand for again? It's like um, spring or something. Yeah. Yeah. I went with uh, if you look at him, if you had the book, I went with Achman's, uh one of Achman's poses, the original Street Fighter character designer. He had a pose just like that. I basically just copied that pose, changed the face a little bit more modern. That's pretty much it for this yeah. piece. I mean, in terms of then you killed it, you went in with all the graphics in the background. Yeah, we wanted to make Nuts. this not really look like an arcade stick. We wanted to make it look like like uh, an old. You know, like a, a wall scroll a or wall something scroll, like that. Yeah, that's why you see the ancient like China in the back. Yeah. You like this one, guys? A lot of detail. Yeah, it's a lot of detail. A lot, a lot of detail. This one was fun. This one was fun. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, look at Jerry. Don't we all wish we were Jerry right now? Right. Don't we all? So um, yeah, this customer wanted a school scene, right? Mm-hmm. Um. More Chun Li, right? More Chung, and I added actually. Yeah, the, this was a this was supposed I to be a Chun Li and, and Jury theme. Yeah, yeah, Chun Li and Jury only, but that's what his main was. And then I added the two uh, the two extra characters there, yeah, Atlanta, um, Boki and Elena. And, and, and then he also wanted it to be like you know a school theme, and he wanted graffiti in it. So yeah, uh, you have the little Chun Li and Jury throw up. I, I guess that's uh, the customer basically wanted um, that. I guess he's, that was his two characters. Right? That was two characters, yeah. yeah. He's just... And the backgrounds were sick because it looks like an anime episode. Like, right. tell me that don't look like an anime episode right If there. you look close, it says Street Fighter High School. <laughs> and then, like, Ryu's a, there's a Tatsu. That's what I'm... The, these, they don't understand how much we look into this shit. Like, yeah, I don't, we love this shit. It. We love Street Fighter. You guys can see it right add there. add these details that... There's, there's, like, a Tatsu. Like, Ryu's doing a Tatsu. <laughs> <laughs> so, was that was that one. He actually, I think he came back. I forgot what he did. Alton. Yeah, but he yeah. came back for another one after yeah, this, I yeah. think. Well, he oh. did the first Chun, then he did this one. That's right. He right. was the first Chun right. and came back for that one. Oh, guys, look at this one. All right, so these are from the homie, the god. Buttero. Buttero. Um, this is fucking awesome. Um, so, John, John wanted to give do something for his son. Yeah. Um, he loves Batman, right? His name is Aiden, right? And we actually did two two pieces like this. Um, so this is all Clev going nuts, but yeah, this is yeah. a scene of uh, Clayface and Joker versus Batman and Aiden. Yeah, right? yeah. So we actually put Aiden into a and fight stick. I had him with a little, huh? Yeah, know? so this is a real person, you know, um, I did the background work, just a little Photoshop work, and then yeah. I, I did the, the Aiden in the Batman font on that the top, sick, yeah. little comic book, you know, yeah. like, you know. It's basically comic book style. Set uh, the scene. It's just something for the kid that he loved it. I mean, it, that, like... That's great. Like something personal. Right. Like that's rare. Like we're not gonna get many of those. You know what if I mean? you guys look too, we, we put all the bats. Um the bats in here are from the different Batman eras, right? I don't know if you can see it. But yeah. So these are all like the different bats from so uh, from the ages of Batman. Like here's like the sixties one, right? The cartoony ones, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we went in and just kinda chose all the different bats. You know that was uh that we saw that we thought was cool so this was definitely one of my favorite ones and right? then after that oh yeah then this is a part i two. actually did that i actually did two of them i did two of them for a butter roll because i wanted to do one more art style more realistic and um i used his son's face as a reference and then like the old 80s batman and well, then that's uh this is uh what's this his is a uh, uh god damn it what's his actor's name guys I think, um, Keaton? Michael, yeah, Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton, yeah. 
Yep, the two, my on the last one. The A button. Ah. <laughs> my generation. <laughs> Good stuff, guys. So yeah, they caught the tooth. Yeah, the tooth find out. Yeah, I loved Clayface. Yo, he scared the shit out of me too. What's going on? Clayface. This one. Oh my god. So oh, this is all. This is all. I'm not. I didn't really do much with this one. So yeah. What's the name? Hit us up, right? You, uh, you so, boy. guys, this is Jason from Jason's Custom, our good friend. Um, shout out to Jason again. He's also serving the country in Japan, so much respect to him and what he does for the FGC and all the cool tech that he has. And you guys already know the Panzer um, Panzer fight stick, so I don't have to go too much detail with Jason is, but. To celebrate, to celebrate, <laughs> um, yeah, I can't I believe it. I did this like right. sometimes. I'm like, what the fuck? So, this one has gold buttons. Does uh, it? No, uh, actually, we don't know. Jason never built this one. He's actually gonna do this one next. If you if you guys caught his last stream, he was building a stick and he said that he got a printed plexi. And that for means this Nando one. knows. I mean, he probably saw it. Uh -huh. I don't. Yeah, maybe Nando. Maybe you have some. You know, he's the. Or maybe it's just the gold button. That's, that's the president. The right president. There, so, yeah, uh -huh. he, he knows. Good day, so, sir. Good anyway, day. um, yep. <laughs> Right, uh, so this, so Jason just moved to Japan, right? Um, you guys know that he is, um, from Florida, Florida Gators, he always rocks Florida Gators, everything, his logo is the alligator, you know, so we're like, you know what, let's... You told me, he was yeah, like, I was yo, like, he's, look, yo, he's in, he's in, he's from Florida, he's in Japan right now, right. let's do something with that, right. and I'm like, say no more, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm like, say no more, just... You know, fucking Japan, gators, you know, monsters, like, come on, that's my shit. Bro, look at this guy getting smoked right so now. So I had this idea of, like, you know, this guy's, like, the sword's taking his soul. So, like, you know, he's, like, whipping out the sword, and this that's the way he takes people's soul, charges soul up, his sword up, you know what I mean? Right. So I had that idea from the rip. I had it. Like, I, I seen the vision immediately when he said samurai lizard creature thing. So then I end up hitting the armor. The spikes are coming out the armor. And the beads and I mean I just fucking like this stick, man. This is I mean yeah. this layout I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but today whatever he decides to do, it's gonna be godlike. Right. The yeah, chains, but... the chains that you see up back there are special custom um Photoshop brushes. You literally just one stroke and the chain is done. Oh, sick. I didn't know that. Godlike, you know? Yeah. And Jason really wanted some like some of our hand style, so we did the Panzer Fight Stick mm -hmm. 3. Uh, that's that's my hand style you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Some su uh, Subas over here? Mm -hmm. Subas, Jason's custom. That's the uh, uh the, that's the uh, the guard to the samurai sword. It's what protects the hand. And uh, I, you see, I put a little Buddha on the helmet too. A little bit of spiritual content in there. Some that's dark that, spiritual. wants to know where to get the, the chain brush. Um, I would have to. I would have to give you the artist's name. I, I purchased it on Gumroad. But um, what's his name? I'm sure, you can Google it. Antlo, what up, man? That's Antlo. Zano. Zano was good. Um, you'll just if you're on a Discord, join the Discord. And mess tag me, and I and I remember to, and I look for your link just for you. Uh, this was uh, this, is, this is all me. Uh, I did the artwork for the mix box guys. If you guys don't know, this is um, uh, we we basically did the logo for mix box. We did the UFP layout. Um, I did this little graph, you know, little insignia here. I'm really proud of this one. I really love this. You know, this little mix box piece right over here. I actually have the fucking mix box. Mix box. Yeah, show them, man. So they, they went and flipped it, they changed the, the colorway, but um, here's the artwork, here's my sample copy that I got, this is the mix box, I can't play on this thing for the life of me, uh, <laughs> I cannot play on this thing, I can, I can kind of move around, I think I can play Tetris on this. This is this is. If I you don't guys, know how anybody can. Hey, yo, this plays that. on Switch. Do you, get, do you get crab hands? Do right. your hands hurt when you like? Yeah, I, I, do your hands hurt when you guys play like that? That's why I don't play PC games. Right. You get crab hands, man. Anyway, uh, so this is the artwork for the mix box. You know. Money Green was good. Hey, oh, Money Green, you're already trying to raffle. We got two, we got two more raffles, I think, or three more. Yeah, three more. We got three more raffles. Yeah, t ten minutes, we'll have a raffle, guys. Prefer to hitbox, right? Yeah. Baz no, Baz no the hitbox. Yeah, Baz the hitbox guy. Um, um. Oh, this one. Let's go. Let's go. All right, Jay Fierce, right? Jay Fierce. Jay Fierce. Hit us, Jay Fierce. hit us with the most difficult freaking request. And me being who I am, I agree to this. You see those shots? Look at every wait, wait, time out. First we said chill. <laughs> <laughs> we did say chill. Like he wanted every one of those characters. Do you see the silhouettes of those characters? He you wanted, wanted us to draw all the, the draw all those characters. And we, and at first I'm like hell no that's gonna take me like three months you know and then I came up with an idea we came up with an idea was to 
use the silhouettes. Like, Wait, like before we get into that, his mm. his story was that. So that's the guy that you're seeing here. That's actually Jay Fierce. Yeah. Right. Um. So the theme. What was the theme? Uh, his theme body is I God. body gods. Right. So yeah. he wanted if. The reason why you see strings to the silhouettes because that's his main character. Yep. Right? So he's the puppet master for all of the characters that he plays in all these random fighting games. So I don't even know all of them right now. I just have a um, file with like a fucking folder with like 900 Skull silhouettes. Skull Girls. Uh, right. Uh, Every, you see Pain Wheel in there. Beerus. Uh, Beerus. Right? Yeah. Uh, anyway. Classic, anyway. Kikak, right. Chris, and um, then he also wanted to portray that... You know, he has slain all the hardest yeah. bosses a in god. the gods. The god. Yeah. Right, he's slain all the bosses in fighting games, right? So, um, all the bosses he's holding, balls in hand. <laughs> Is it, at first, it, was, it, was, it was intimidating, but also a dope concept. Like, right. again, very unique. So, we freaking tackled it, bro. I think yeah. we did a great job. Right. Put everything together. And, um... I forgot what he wanted on his left hand. Uh, no, he wa- it right. we got it right. no, we got it right. He wanted uh, this guy. That, what the hell is the dragon's name? Oh, this guy. Uh, 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 Shinron. Yeah, Shinron. But I added the Dragon Balls on top of him to so be like, yo, he's the god. Like, you know what I mean? Right. And then the dead bodies in the back, right. which is literally silhouettes. And then there's the complete. Yeah. So this was this actually he ordered a whole stick from us. Um, so he did the uh, B and B stick. This one's very unique. Um, it's a it's a wood. Thunder guys- too. <laughs> <laughs> you, you dirty man, you. <laughs> Yo, yeah, anytime we ever, if you guys are on my stream and I'm building sticks, it's like, you can't, you'd be like, hey man, uh, I really like the way the shaft feels, <laughs> right? And I love how there's these balls, you know, feel in my hand, hey, man. It just, <laughs> it's just like impossible to talk about fist sticks without someone fucking cracking a joke. <laughs> it's, it's funny, man. It's yeah, it's a, um, this was the finished stick, guys. We yeah. wanted, it's like same mid two parts. Um, my, my old B and B that was a hybrid. Right, uh, so it came out super dope, and we sent we sent it off down to Atlanta from. Right, yeah. uh, this uh, one. Uh, this I one you just wanted something yeah, real quick. I, this is yeah. me. Right, I think I have the stick. Let me go see if I can find the stick. She is. Yeah, it's actually right there. Um, yeah, he just asked me to whip something up real quick. A quick Makoto. So yeah, and that's what is. I did. You know, I just did it on my lunch time. Yeah, this is a, just a really simple Makoto. I really love Makoto. My my third strike main. Um, real simple. Got the dash punch over there. You know, represent the dojo. This one's actually a really cool B and B stick. It, it's really messy inside, but it has the retro board as well as a brook UFB. So this plays on every fucking console on Earth, almost. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's a uh, that was that. Just simple Makoto. I'm on Bart. Oh yeah, the Bart. Oh, he's on the train. The Bart's oh, a, the Bart's a train in the bay. Damn. Mac you- life all day. Thank you. Got some more Makoto mains in there. Oh, there, here's a stick. There you go. I, I don't even have to show you the stick. Here's a stick. This is before I, 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 I like, uh, fucking modded the shit out of it, though. Yeah. Alright, so what we got next? Uh, oh, that's we'll, you. we'll skip that. Oh, this, oh, is, this cool. is, okay. This is so, actually your project. This is my project. Uh, as you know, I got uh, my artwork is spiritually based. And, uh, John was like, yo, I need some, he said, do something for yourself, your own stuff. And I'm like, are you sure? Because, you know, I, you know, this is a very cliche thing like you either get it or you don't get it so this is basically Ganesh holding a lotus flower with a, a fairy coming out of it her third eye is woke the Ganesh is woke and he's got like a jar like oozing like some like green life into it and I decided to keep the color palettes like that like a purplish pink and that's that's pretty much it I just went ham I just went ham on that and then John oh, looked it wait, up wait, let's, let's talk about this so, oh yeah that's right so I, I I gave the frame ahead of time mm-hmm. to Clev Mm-hmm. And what he did, yeah, you guys remember it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah right. Right. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, he went. He fucking hand painted. He yeah, kind of, hand painted lotuses on the wood. This was like your last one, I think, right? Yeah, this is the last hybrid B and B. Yeah. Um, you can see a little bit more over here. And then you hooked it up with the um, what the buttons called the um, Simitsu clear. Simitsu yeah. clear, but they're the uh, textile. Textile. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, there's, there's the same missing buttons, that's yeah, how they yeah. feel. They're like see fucking the, uh, amazing. Right, so you can see all this. It has our etched b and logo. It has, yeah, it has this. The be- I, did, I did this real quick for John. It's basically the bread bread and butter together. Bread and butter combo. You gotta know your B&Bs, man. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, this is cool. We So we did this for... Um, 
Yeah, I was just messing around. Yeah, which we gave this to Born Free. We gave this to Born Free. He's actually in one of his videos. We have a picture with him too. Yep. Born Free. He loved it. Yep. Uh, um, this is us just you goofing. This is me sketching, like get, getting people into it, me trying things. That's a Laura. So you can show that for uh, VC if Migs if he's still in there. Yo, Migs, yeah, if you're in here, Migs. This one, they love, they love these waifus, man. Mm -hmm. Hey! hey. <laughs> Got to grab, congrats on a very successful year. All right, Nando, man, thank you so much, bro. Nando, thank you so much for tuning in, brother. Um, what we got? Uh, uh, let's skip that. Skip that, skip yep. that. Um, this is a guy. Yeah, these are just sketches. like little fun things that we do. Oh, guys, look. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, the proof The proof that he, this happened. He actually won. Wait, he won. Yeah, Lohai, Lohai won. Evo. What our secret... <laughs> what our secret Rashido... In the back. Right. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, close up of like the black. I started off black and white and I added color. Awesome, right? So. Most dope. Yep. Oh, this. What, what do you do with this? Nothing. Nothing. We still have that. <laughs> we still have it. Got the Monado over there. Um, okay, this guy. Uh, is it Haru? I think Hadouken. How you do can. Yeah, yeah. How you do can request it. This Akuma, the Shin Akuma base. I freaking love this piece. I love what you did with the buttons. Uh, what was that? Alpha three? Alpha, alpha two? Alpha two or three? Alpha two stage in the in the background. I hit him with the like the liquidy like you know purple flames and the eyes screaming red and uh, that's pretty much it. Another Akuma piece. Sefka seven, what's up? Thank you. Oh, it's Lenti. Hey, what's up, man? There he is. Yo, what up? What's, what's up, bro? Yeah, man. So. Yeah, we, we showed your stuff off earlier. Yeah, Lenny's yeah. with the Android 21 yeah, stuff. Yeah. I'm awake, you promise. Okay, I promise, okay. Yeah, okay. this one was really cool. How you Um And then he wanted the new kanji from Akuma. Mm. So that's the new kanji. You have the old kanji here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I recycled it and put it inside the buttons. These like swirly buttons. So basically, it's like Akuma's like EX Fireball when he's charging the both. And then right. he's like... Shh. Right. Shoosh. And he also wanted like the demon, so I found yeah. this other graphic yeah, here for the demon. Who did that? That came out dope. This is on a Panthera. Uh, he sent us the picture later, I believe, mm -hmm. too. Right. And we got another Tekken request. Oh, actually, uh, let's do this one, and then we got uh, then we, we, we got a giveaway. Okay, this one, this one, I just went. What was this guy from? This guy was from Korea, wasn't he? No, he was. He, was from, uh, he wasn't from here. Yeah, he's from like overseas. I think uh, Taiwan or Hong Kong. Yeah, this guy requested uh, Heihachi. I went with or again. Singapore. Yeah. I think it was Singapore. I went with the background paper. I went with the old scroll. I went with like more of a cartoon style. This arm. This is when I started to really get into my groove of understanding like the buttons don't scare me. I used to be scared of the buttons like, oh, it's not going to work. So that's why I just started making the characters really, really big. So that way they could just, you can still see them past the buttons. The tiger is ridiculous on this. Yeah. Oh shit, what did I do? Oh, that's my work. <laughs> yeah, the, the um, tiger is ridiculous. And then um, um, I really like, uh, like the, all, so basically I did the electrics. Mm -hmm. the, the, the buttons I went simple because it's mm -hmm. kind of, I just wanted to stay with like the Tekken theme of like the, yeah. the Mishima electrics. They do that turn yeah. back punch, electric punch, yeah, whatever electric, the hell it is. Right. Uh, use a Tekken font here for him. Really simple. Uh, he, you know, this is, he kind of wanted this to be like, a, a, a vintage looking yeah, yeah. stick. That's why we kind of went with this vintage looking kanji that I, yeah. that I did and did.